All right, question 6.4 is two parts. So what is the wavelength in nanometers of an electron moving with the speed of 5.97 times 10 to the 6 meters per second? And we're given the mass. Right, so really this equation, or this problem, really just says, um, tells us that we need to use the same equation we've been using for a lot of problems where the wavelength is equal to Planck's constant divided by the mass times the velocity. Okay, and so if we plug in for that, we know what Planck's constant is, which is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 uh, joules per kilogram second. And we're going to divide that then by the mass, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms times the velocity, which is 5.97 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Alright, so then if we solve for that, basically what we find is that we get um, 1.22 times 10 to the minus 10 meters, okay? But we're asked to solve for it in nanometers, and so that's equal to 0 0.122 nanometers. Alright, second question says calculate the velocity of a neutron whose de Broglie wavelength is 500 picomolar. Okay. The mass of a neutron is given. Right, so once again, if we set up this same equation that we did up here, okay, <clears throat> we know that we have the wavelength, okay, and the wavelength that we're given is equal to 500 picomolar. Okay, so we need to convert that to meters, and that's times 10 to the minus 12 meters in one picometer. Okay, and so we get 5 times 10 to the minus 10th meters. Okay, so if we set this up again, we're just plugging in. We have 5 times 10 to the minus 10th meters. Okay, that's our wavelength shown here. We have that equal to Planck's constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. We're dividing that by the mass and the velocity. Okay, but we're looking for velocity. We have the mass, which is 1.6749 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms times the velocity. All right, so if we set this up and solve for velocity, um, we're basically just multiplying. Um, we move this side to this side of the equation. We can multiply it by 5 times 10 to the minus 10th, and then we divide both sides by... Um, in order to solve V. And so we get the velocity is going to be equal to 791 meters per second.